Hello, virtual doll convention. So we are here in one of the little guest suites at Hillary Polly's house with this gorgeous girl. And we are here with another gorgeous girl. Hello, Valerie. Hello. Thank you for doing a, a little mini program, I like to call them, on um, this wonderful brew. So, Valerie, you f you filmed a, um, your larger, pro longer program that you're um, going to be doing at the tw uh, 200 Years of Childhood show. Can you tell us what that was about? Well, it's on the romance and history of the brew bebe. And even though this is not a brew bebe, she is a poupe, there's a reason why we're going to talk about her a little bit tonight. Besides being gorgeous. She really is beautiful. She get that face is. In we're going to get in and see her beautiful, luminous face. And I just want to point out, look at this original wig. Oh, my gosh. No, they never look like that. That's amazing. They're just beautiful. She is just stunning. She is sitting here in England just having the best time. <laughs> Valerie, what do you just love about her? Well, I love so much her originality i mean mm -hmm. there's her wig is original she has her original earrings in um just everything about her just screams originality this dress now and one of the things i want to make a caveat on we can't always say that this dress was her original dress but this is an original dress and we can look at it we can look at the way it's made we can really see how original this dress is. There's nothing new here. This is all antique and just exquisite and it's very fragile. Um, her body is in just amazing condition. And I've got these little gloves on her right now, which did not come with her, but I gifted them to her because I felt that they matched her outfit so beautifully. But her everything about her is just so wonderful in such excellent condition. She has lovely antique old boots, you can see. And again, oh, you yeah, can see how she's got her antique undergarments. Mm -hmm. And the condition of her kid body is just pristine. It is such a treat to see them looking like this. It's just amazing. Eugenie, uh, made in the likeness of Empress Eugenie, who was so incredibly popular. Mm -hmm. And he actually created her likeness um, after the, the fall of Napoleon and uh, the Empress Eugenie, Napoleon III and Empress Eugenie. She was such a popular empress. And so many of the doll makers really went out of their way to sort of memorialize her. Mm -hmm. um, she was just such a lovely woman. And so she has what they call the Mona Lisa smile. Mm -hmm. um, just everything about her is just exquisite. And one of the things I really want to encourage collectors about, this doll is on a completely kid body. She is all original. And... I want them to really understand how important that is because that's really the er one of the earliest dolls that you're going to find are on those kid bodies. And so many collectors want a wood articulated body, which Brew also did an incredible job of making, but it doesn't make these dolls any less valuable or mm -hmm. important. These dolls are incredibly important. And especially when you can find a wonderful doll in such original unique condition that has a wonderful body that isn't damaged or or dirty that's you know she's an important part of a collection absolutely it is wonderful to make that distinction because a lot of times we think oh if it's not on a wood body it's just not yes and as and, important. and i understand we all want that doll that can sit down right but how often do we change their positions exactly. once they're in the cabinet? Exactly. We, we don't really change them that often. So let's talk so. about these shoes. Well, now, after Bruce stopped creating the poupées, which was about in 1878, he started making the bebés. And so I thought it was fun to have a couple of pairs of these wonderful shoes with his stamp on them. Those are great. Bujun. These are size four. And you notice that one pair is rounded, the toe, and the other pair. Now these are a size 10. Again, they're marked. Those ones are incredible. And these are the pointed toe. 
And the pointed toe was primarily for, as I understand it, um, for the dolls that had the kid feet. So this is before the advent of Chevro coming in and creating the wood legs. Mm -hmm. These with the more rounded toe were for a doll that would have been during the period of Chevro. And they have that more rounded edge to them. So that's as I understand it. And it doesn't make that much of a difference, except that what you will note is that a doll can be a size four in a rounded toe and a size four in a pointed toe. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a completely different size. So you're going to note that the dolls that have kid feet are going to have much bigger feet. So a size four for a kid foot is going to be much larger. So that's one of the things that I've really noticed. And I didn't know that when I was first starting out. I said, oh, I need those size four shoes. And, then, and I bought them, <laughs> took them home, and they were huge. <laughs> so, so they were for out. the wrong doll. Yeah. But, oh, so that's such a great so, tip, though. Yeah. Have you been having a great time over here in We London? are having an amazing time What here do you think about London. Hillary's pad? <laughs> this pad is exquisite. I mean, just take a scope around this room. Just this is for just a, the, just the for guest a... room that, that um, one of the many wonderful guest rooms that's here in this incredible place it's, that we are in London. It's, it's just, yes. Out in the English countryside. And it is astonishing. It is. Are you looking forward to the show? I'm really looking forward to the show. Yes. Well, thank you for sharing your gorgeous brew with us, thank Valerie. You. We are so excited for your program that you were doing on um, the brews and the, the French Bay Bays. What was the name of your program again? It's the History and Romance of the Brew Bay Bay. The History and Romance of the Brew Bay Bay. It's going to be amazing. We filmed that today for the Virtual Doll Convention. You're always so knowledgeable and kind and always teach us so many things. Valerie, you're the best. Thank you so thank much. You. All thank right. You, Rachel. See you later. You're the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.